With the crowd picking up two Golden Globes this weekend, it is safe to say there is a huge appetite for all things royal. Now, Fiona Reid takes us behind the closed doors of Queen Elizabeth's meetings with various British PMs in the stage production of The Audience. Welcome, Fiona. Oh, thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. This thank is you. huge. I will say there's never been more intrigue as to what goes behind Buckingham Palace as there is now, as we mentioned, with the success of the show The Crown, and of course, this as well, you as the star. Yeah. So how does it feel to take on such a huge role? Well, it, it's huge, and um, it's interesting because Peter Morgan started with The Queen, and then um, he wrote The Audience after that, and then now The Crown, which so many people have seen. And um, it's it's a big challenge. One has to, to read, one has to, you end up watching YouTube videos a lot because there are wonderful private moments that The Queen has that you can catch on YouTube. There's some great documentaries out there, but um, I've, I guess I've ended up becoming fascinated with her. She is an extraordinary woman, but you know, what, what Peter Morgan does is so magical in this show is you see her at these at different ages and you see how she becomes the person that we know her as as a public figure and he also takes a wall away and we see how she might be in a private company with her prime ministers because these audiences happen once a week mm -hmm. and it's a, a courtesy afforded her by the prime minister of the day and it's never recorded it's never for attribution and so peter morgan has this remarkable gift i think of being able to imagine and make it seem very believable that the queen would say what she does say and I think his triumph really is that he humanizes her. Yes, the mm -hmm. woman behind the crown. And you yes. mentioned it spans six decades, and this is all no, on you. So you're changing pretty much on the stage. You have a team with the different outfits, wardrobe, wigs. What is that like? It must be. It's as much a part yeah. of the play as the lines and the scenes. I have to say I work with a cast of, I think, 12 or 13 remarkable actors, Ben Campbell, Ben Carlson. Um, the stalwarts of, of, of the festivals, the Stratford and, and Shaw festivals. Um, so I'm not alone, thankfully. I, I'm sort of rescued after a quick change by these wonderful actors with whom I have scenes. But 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 yes, we rehearse down to the nose, everything down to the nub. These these changes because a new wig goes on instantly, um, and there are some you know tricks. Sometimes I'm overdressed or underdressed, and then there's the body language that changes every time one becomes but hopefully that's magical for the audience and it's yeah. the joy of theater because they do get to look at it and go well how did that just happen yeah. Hopefully, that's yeah. what they do. And to go from being this young mom to a great grandmother, and of course, the weight of the world on the shoulders, many people think, oh, they got the life. They're living in a palace. No. They get their food cooked. It is as much a blessing as it is a burden. Mm -hmm. And that is very much looked into as well. The queen works really, really hard. She's very disciplined. She's very dutiful. She's been dutiful from day one. I think we see her relaxing a little more now yeah. in her elder years. But um, you just, when you play this woman, and I see it, any actress that has played her, you feel touched by this extraordinary person who really is a very ordinary person at heart, right. I think. With a huge responsibility. Mm -hmm. And I know you have one degree of, se of separation thanks to your dad. That's so cool. Oh, well, that's right. Yes, yeah. yes. My father was decorated with the OBE and, and uh, having served, you know, in, in the, as a doctor in the military and my mother in um, as a nurse she served in the military in the war they they felt great affection for the queen oh my gosh you're next can you imagine what would you say i play you i think you're fabulous <laughs> okay so check it out guys the audience runs january 17th which is next tuesday i believe through uh, february 26th at the royal alexandra theater make sure you see it breakfasttelevision.ca for ticket information maybe go for some high tea just before the show and get Perfect. yourself ready for it good idea congratulations have a great run right now over to kev